Hi everyone, welcome to Hot Tech. My name is Sam. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you get notification every time I post a new video. Also, please like this video if it was helpful to you. So let's get started. In this video, I'll show you how to use uh, ChatGPT to increase your Excel skills. Uh, if you don't have an account and don't know what ChatGPT is, uh, please check out my video about uh, ChatGPT. You should see that on the right hand corner uh, screen above or at the end of this video. So let's get started. So if you have any problem in Excel or you want to know anything to do in Excel and you don't know the formula, so you can just come here and uh, chat in the chat window. You just type in. So let's see. I want to combine text with number. So how I can combine text with numbers in Excel. So what this is doing is asking uh, ChatGPT to give me a formula that I can use to combine both text and number in Excel. So in the answer, ChatGPT is giving me a bunch of formulas and suggestions. So in the response, ChatGPT said that in Excel, you can combine text and numbers by using con uh, concatenate function or the and operators. So the first one is giving you the example of how to use the concatenate. And then the second one, you can use how you can use and operator. So the first one, you do the text and then text too. So if you want to combine text sales and something else, that could be text sales and then whatever the column is or if you want to combine uh if one column has the text you can put that in here and the second column you can put that in here and you can separate it by comma and for the uh and operator you can do text one and text two so that uh, that can be useful if you do that and uh yeah, you can do it like this. So this is the example it gives you, it kind of gave you. So now let me ask him how I can create a tracking number in Excel. Let's see. Okay, so it's saying that there are several ways to create a tracking number in Excel depending on your specific needs. Here are a few op uh, options. So auto-generate uh, sequential numbers. You can use the row function to create unique numbers uh, for each row in your spreadsheet. For example, uh, there's an example of that. You can also use concatenate again. Uh, uh, okay, and if you want to create a tracking number in a column A, you can use that formula using random numbers. Uh, here are some of the, this is, uh, it just keeps going, it giving you all the possible option for your solution. I'll just stop this here and ask something else. Okay, let's see. Uh, how can I uh, find duplicate text in Excel, question mark. So now it is thinking uh, or processing if you want to know the uh, computer term. Okay, how can I find duplicate text in Excel? So in Excel, you and then still thinking Still thinking. It seems like it's doing a lot of thinking. This is network error. So it's possible that it's giving network error because there are a lot of people seems to be using ChatGPT at the moment. And that is kind of giving a bunch of errors. Let me uh, clear this out. So here you can clear this chat like this. Then let me ask you again. How can I find a duplicate numbers? or text in Excel. Okay, a range cells, you can select the range cell and then you duplicate, okay. So this, it seems to be giving the answers uh, for this by using the 
uh, conditioning panel, conditioning formatting. If you don't know what conditional formatting is, please check out my Excel video. I actually went into details on how you can use different formats using conditions, and then you can uh, sort of uh, do, uh, you can also, uh, you can also color code the data and color code the cells and things like that. You can please check it out. Uh, it should be at the end, you'll see like Excel tips uh, library. You can go and check it up there. So yeah, it is giving us this. So count, or you can also use count if formula if you want to do that. You can use conditional formatting. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can check out my uh, my video. It should be there. You can also remove, uh, so also in the conditional formatting, I use uh, how to remove duplicates. You can check that. It's in the same video. So when you see it, you will know. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's ask ChatGPT how I sum different uh different numbers so what it's doing is that if you ask ChatGPT a question it kind of gives you multiple different um options on which way you want to go so like for here uh it gives you a range uh, some range so range would be if you want to sum the entire column will be column A to column Z, whatever the Z column is, the end column is. I also have a video on that. You can check that out as well. And uh, below is giving example of how you can combine. You can sum only five different rows. And then in the third one, it is giving you the example of how you can uh, uh, sum two different columns. So uh, column A uh, in the column column a you can do from row a to row five and then b1 to b5 you can also use some if so i actually covered all this in my uh, in my excel tips so please check it out uh let's do something else let's find out how can you find a percentage in excel okay Again, uh, yeah, it is giving sort of the same thing that I covered in my Excel tips, uh, giving different options again, uh, part one and then divide by total and then multiply by 100 or A, sort of giving you an example of how it will work logically and then giving you different formulas. Uh, there's also percentage formula. Uh, you can use uh, here in the percentage formula, you can use uh, that instead of multiplying it by 100, you will uh, kind of use percentage and then 50 divided by 100. So in Excel, there are always multiple ways of doing the same thing. You can do same thing mul uh, multiple ways. Sometimes it's the same amount of effort, sometimes it's not. Uh, but mostly it's the same amount of effort if you find percentage this way or this way is the same thing. It does not make any difference. Uh, let's find out. Let's ask something that is not related to formula. So let's see. How can I password uh, protect my Excel spreadsheet? Let's see. Um, okay. So now it is giving me the instruction on how you can actually uh, password protect your Excel spreadsheet. So open the spreadsheet that you want to protect, then click on the file menu in the ribbon, select info in the left hand corner, and then protect worksheet, and then select encrypt with password. Uh, a dialog box will appear where you can enter password. Be sure to choose a strong password and remember it. Remember it as you will need it to open the spreadsheet later. Confirm the password by re entering it in the confirm field. Uh, click OK to save password and encrypt data sheet. Oh, uh, encrypt spreadsheet, yes. Yeah. So once the spreadsheet is password protected, you will be prompted to enter the password each time you open the spreadsheet and a bunch of other information. It says this content may violate the con content policy. If you believe, content policy, I believe, then I don't please submit your feedback. Okay, I am not sure what happened. This is probably one of the logic uh, in the code that is saying that this may be a violation of some sort of policy. Uh, it's not, so I'm not going to give it feedback. I'm just chatting with the ChatGPT. 
Uh, let's see. I think this is all I had to ask from ChatGPT. Uh, if you have any question or if you would like me to talk to ChatGPT and ask ask him or her or the AI about anything that you would like to cover, please uh, write in the comment below. I'll be more than happy to uh, have this conversation on your behalf or you can try it yourself. If you don't know how to download and create a free account on ChatGPT, there's a video you should see it at the end or you should you should have seen it already on the top right hand corner where I kind of show you how to create an account, uh, sign up using your uh, Gmail or Google, which website to go to, and then sort of kind of explain, I kind of explain how ChatGPT is designed, how it works and how smart it is and things like that. So please check out that video. Uh, and at the end, please uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and uh, hit that bell icon. And if you have any recommendations or requests, please write in the comment below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.